Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys step-by-step -step how to enable TLS 1.3 on Windows Server 2025. TLS 1.3 is actually natively supported in Windows Server 2025, but it may not be enabled by default. Before we get started with today's video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so there's a few quick requisites that we wanted to cover first before we get to the hands-on tutorial. First is that we need to be using Windows Server. In this case, we're using Windows Server 2025. Next, we need to have administrator privileges. We also wanna make sure that our services, for example, remote desktop, support TLS 1.3. And then lastly, making sure that our system is fully updated to the most recent version. All right, let's get onto the computer. Okay, so we're here on Windows Server 2025. We're gonna do Windows key and R together to go open the run box here. And we're gonna type REG edit, reg edit, okay? We'll hit enter. It's going to open our registry editor and we're going to start under H key underscore local machine. Let's click down the drop down arrow there. We'll click underneath system and then we're looking for current control set. We'll drop down the arrow again. So we're just single clicking on these arrows. We'll click down under control. And then here, let me expand this a little bit. We're looking for security providers, which is going to be a bit towards the bottom. Here we can see security providers. We're going to click under S channel one time. And then lastly, we're going to single click into the folder called protocols. Make sure that where you are matches here. And that's computer, HK, local machine, system, current control set, control, security providers, S channel, and finally protocols. We're going to right click on the protocols folder. We'll hover over new and we're going to select key. And then by default, it's going to ask us to name it. And I'm going to name this TLS space 1.3 and I'll press enter. Next, we'll right click on this new and key again. The first one is client. Let's go back to the TLS 1.3 folder with a right click, new, key. This subfolder will be called server. Okay, so next we're gonna go back to the client. We're gonna have to do this for both the client and the server folders. We'll right click inside of here and let's click new, D word 32 bit value. And we're gonna call this enabled. So write enabled with a capital E press enter, and then we can right click on this and hit modify. And where it says value data, we're gonna set this to one and I'll press okay. Inside of this folder, we'll do another D word 32 bit value. This one will be called disabled by default. Disabled and default will be capitalized by will be lowercase. We'll right click and click modify. Now I actually don't think that reg edit files are case sensitive. However, I just like to enter it as it would be. Um, so that's why I'm adding the capitals. It should not be case sensitive. The value data here will remain at zero. And we'll press okay. We're gonna do this exact same thing in the server subfolder that we created. Again, just to recap, we have enabled and disabled by default. So we'll right click new, D word 32 bit value. We're gonna enter enabled and then right click modify, set the value to one. I'll press okay, right click new, D word 32 bit value disabled by default, right click, modify, ensure that the value data is set to zero and we'll press okay. And that is all we need to do in the registry editor to enable TLS 1.3. For the changes to take effect, we need to restart the server. So I can close that. We'll click power here and let's click restart. All right, let's get logged back into our server. The restart has just completed. And there's just one final thing that we're gonna do to make sure that this is working properly. I'll minimize the server manager for now. We'll hit the start menu key and I'm gonna enter PowerShell. We'll click into Windows PowerShell here. Okay, and then let's enter the following command. We'll leave this posted in the description for you guys. Okay, with that, we'll press enter. Okay, and then if we see TLS underscore AES underscore 256 underscore GCM, and then finally SHA384. So if we see that, or you also might see this one here. So if we see either of these, that's confirming that TLS 1.3 is enabled. So we wanna see 128 GCM SHA 256. 
or the 256 SHA 384. This is confirming that TLS 1.3 is successfully enabled on our server. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over, feel free to drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most viewer commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.